Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a dramatic couple in love that loves watching some Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, we do. And so we got into Dragon Ball Z with, through Dragon Ball Z A Bridge with yep. Team Four Star. And that's yep. where we got these shirts through their uh, their website, their uh, Shark Robot uh, website uh, that they have, their store there. And I've got a link in the description of this video. They got a lot of cool shirts. Uh, if you don't have you know someone to to wear this with, it's, it's mm -hmm. I, I wore this by myself one time. And it's like, I need an adult. <laughs> Like, yeah, 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 my, my wife has the other one and, and she says, I am an adult. She's like, okay, so now you're just someone that just needs an adult and you don't have it. Like, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's what it is. So we're checking out Dragon Ball Z Kai. This is episode 127. Um, if you want all of our Dragon Ball Z Kai reactions, check out the description of this video. We got a playlist there. Yes. We got a link to our Patreon. We can get early ad-free access to it, um, as well as full watch-along reactions, which we're even further ahead on. Yeah. And it's on Hulu now. So you can, that's a great way to, uh, you know, watch along with us on Hulu. Yeah. Okay. Majin Buu to a one-on-one -on -one fight and overwhelm the puffy pink villain. <laughs> Keep his ass, but dude is just terrible as hell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but Buu's powers of regeneration allowed him to withstand the- Chop his head off. Go to his brain. Walking Dead taught me that. Mm -hmm. You hurt Buu only a little bit. <laughs> Like I said, he gets that a lot. Hmm. But he grows on you. You don't like him at first, but then you love Vegeta. It's true. That's true. Their epic battle concludes now. Gotta find a different way to beat him. Not through battle, through, I don't know, friendship. <laughs> yes. <laughs> love Vegeta's, him to death. Vegeta's strong suit. Yeah. It's got played his strength. It's not every time. Sometimes, you know, since it has been a while since we checked this out, you know, yeah. uh, it got you again. It did. They just look so happy. <laughs> Bobbity! <laughs> Bite it out. So that one's the end of Earth, another one's for like the twin of something? Sure. Yeah. We'll figure out these lyrics one of these days. I mean, you could put on the subtitles, but there's no fun. We just gotta. I think it's part of like our brand now, right? We just like sing that one line in the yeah. songs and the shows that we watch. <laughs> but we sing that one line with like oomph. Exactly. Okay. Right. Blah, 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 blah. You... Oh, actually, I don't have to say blah, 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 because I muted it. <laughs> but I appreciate the commitment. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is a long title. Okay. Oh, really Goku. Quiet. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Ah, dust. There we go. <laughs> well, it's like, I, I know I saw that you took it off mute, but I mean. Oh, you didn't, you didn't hear the sound. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I see what you said. Oh, no, go on. Oh, no. He can't be dead. Um, is he dead? Hmm? I think he's dead. Poke him. Bite the ear, like Bucky. I don't believe it. Not even Vegeta stands a chance against this thing. Gohan is dead. The guardian of the universe, Supreme Kai. He's been wiped out too. Yeah, but he really wasn't much. <gasps> hey, my dad's not gonna be defeated, okay? Not by that dude. You didn't respond to him saying Gohan is dead? <laughs> <laughs> Stank face. Vegeta face. <laughs> <laughs> so you go bye 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 bye. <laughs> How am I supposed to put down this invincible monster? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did he just like create a mini me? Maybe. Laffy Taffy. I'm sorry. Am I supposed to be impressed by that? <laughs> oh. 
I have no idea. Is that the best you've got? I could dodge those in my sleep. Hmm. <gasps> oh. <gasps> Squeeze. Oh. <laughs> Doing a jig. You just wrapped your dad in his fat. Yeah. What? Oh! Ooh. No! Oh my god. It's sadistic. I hope they're not dead already. What? You think my dad and brother might be dead? Yeah, don't. What? Oh, Chunks is not gonna be able to stand by. If you go down there, you'll just die in vain. So give your father one more thing to worry about. Oof. Yep. He's, I mean. He is his father's son. Yep. Don't do this, it's futile. But I have to. Trump's and his dad need my help. Piccolo, you need to go too. Go turn. Back him up. Oh. Come on, Trunks. D what? Nice. Hurry. Where'd go, Trunks? Yeah. Who yeah, are those pipsqueaks and nothing more? Maybe you guys can like fight them more than just one person at a time. Come on, get up! Just shake it off! Dad! 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 He can't be dead. What the F? No, he's that to kill my dad! But even so, it's not like he can keep fighting now, can he? No. You bet he is! My dad is amazing! Oh, Trunks. Prince would lose to that big pink blob? Pick him up and get him out of there. For him, he would have just stayed dead. What an imbecile. As he's finding out, my Majin Buu's in fit. He's got a little, like, shoulder thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Majin Buu's a menace to all life. No one's more insufferable than you, Bobbity. Yeah, Piccolo. No, this is my natural complexion. Aren't you awfully full of yourself for a two-bit warlock in a skirt? <laughs> Don't think me. Very well. I'll simply tell my Buu to do away with you in the most painful manner in... He's not here right now. Majin Buu may be tough, but I know I can take you out. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Just rip your arm off. Come on, Mr. Piccolo. Yeah. Ooh. How do you like me now? Krillin, you can help him out. Uh, I think Mr. Piccolo should take this one on his own. Wish a wizard as mighty as me? Yes. Managed to kill me, you'll never be able to see who Martin Boo up again! Don't think he cares. Nah. Happens, Martin Boo will continue his path of destruction until the whole world has been obliterated. He's gonna do it anyways. Yeah. Like you're gonna stop him. Not I let you live, so what's the difference? Exactly. <laughs> Just die. <laughs> Way to go, Mr. Piccolo. And I like poverty, but that was badass. I was going to roll over the world. I can't go out like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was like part Darth Maul, part Wicked Witch of the <laughs> <West>. <laughs> Split in half. Oh, what a world! What a world! <laughs> <laughs> the timing of that was perfect. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Who did this to Boo? Huh? <sighs> you all need to take him on. Huh. 
No. Vegeta. When G Vegeta cries, it's tears of blood. Telling me to take care of mom. You two go find somewhere to take shelter far from here. I have to stop Boo, and I'm doing it alone. Ugh. No. Yeah. I mean, I get Why? the kids you don't want, but it doesn't matter how many of us go at it. Not if we fight the way we normally. Huh. You seem so discouraged. Yeah, he's right. Usually, you're way more cocky and full of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's like, you're right. Kids do speak truths. Mm -hmm. From the time you were a little baby, I've never once hugged you because I always wanted to make you a tougher man. Mm. I'll hug you now. Uh, wait, Dad, what? Oh, this is. Cut it out. You're embarrassing me. Oh. I'm okay if this hug lasts the rest of the episode. I don't know that I'm ready to see what's supposed to come after it. I know. <laughs> he shook it on his thumb. Oh. There you go. All right. <gasps> <gasps> oh, cold blooded. He knew he would follow him no matter what. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Piccolo's got to take him away. Yep. You are! Why'd you do that to him? Oh. <laughs> oh! That was unnecessary! I think that's because it was Goku's kid. Piccolo knows what he needs to do. What mean meanie give Boo owies just now? Take these two little ones and get them as far away from here as possible. But not before he truly lives. Or whatever it's called. Will I see Kakarot again? Hmm. And your soul will be sent to a very different world than the one where Goku's soul was. Heffel. You got that? Or should I slow down, you pink twerp? <laughs> <laughs> you got a big dirty mouth! Yeah, he does. Plug up his holes. Vegeta is going to be fighting on behalf of someone other than himself. And sadly, it'll cost him his life. Aww. No, I keep waiting for like how this is not going to happen. Goku's got to like come in and save him or something. Boo make you chocolate, boo eat you. No, boo feel like some candy, boo make you that. He's a Sour Patch Kid. Is to obliterate you so completely, your regeneration won't be possible. Because oh. you are a worthy opponent. Holy shit. I mean, I keep going back to Dragon Balls. Dragon Balls will come back. But that was done really well. Um, yeah. No. No. 
know. I was waiting for like the psych at the end of the episode. Like, psych was it real. Yeah. Um, or some something to come in at the last minute and stop it. Like, I just I don't know what stage of grief is denial because I don't really believe that that just happened. Um, I mean, I think it was brilliantly done. They they gave Vegeta all of the stage time and star power and and cinematic drama um, that he deserves, but no. Yeah. I, mean, is that I gotta keep talking, I can't, I can't. <laughs> is that really, like, I, I want I want this to be a live stream, I wanna interact with the community and be like, did that really, that's not really how, how Vegeta ends, right? Like that doesn't, that didn't really happen, right? Like that was all, I just, I don't, I, I mean, I don't believe it. I even know he comes back because they said that unless it's unless Dragon Ball Super is a prequel, which I'm not sure if it is or not. Like if like because I heard Dragon Ball Super was like more about Vegeta and, and Bulma. Um, so unless it's about like their time before before this all happened, fuck, which it could be. Um, Vegeta, like. Just the moment with Trunks really got me. Um, yeah. I think the only reason that I'm not crying is because I just I genuinely didn't believe that was really the end of Vegeta. Even as the episode was over, I, I'm still sitting here and I just don't believe it. Like, I think if I had allowed myself at any point during the episode to believe that this was really his goodbye, I'd, I'd be a puddle right now. I mean, you know me, you know I'd be a puddle right now. But I... I just genuinely never at any point allowed myself to believe that this really could be the end of his character. I love that when you're saying goodbye, you start with Balma, Trunks, and then Kakarot. even you, Kakarot. Yeah. Uh, it was just such a good um, send off for Vegeta and like someone that is so like, and so much of the time he's been like so selfish and whatnot. And then like Piccolo said, like he's finally gonna be do so doing something for her, like other than himself. He's finally fighting for someone other than himself. Um, yeah, it was just a really powerful moment. Um, but <laughs> I guess what'll make me laugh is wasn't the Supreme Kai's body still there? Like, was he still alive? <laughs> Did you just blast the Supreme Kai uh, out of out of existence? I thought about Ooh. that uh, towards the end, and I'm just like, I'm like, I gotta keep that because it's gonna be tough to talk about this, and that'll make me laugh. <laughs> and uh, it did. And so maybe then I can start talking about the episode after that. Um, Vegeta talking about, you know, now I'm making his son soft and everything, but then like yeah. giving him that 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 hug there at the end, and. Uh, yeah, it just, uh, this episode hit me in so many, it, like, so many different points. It, it was uh, very powerful and, and emotional. And even though, like I said, even though I know Dragon Balls, like, he'll, he'll come back to life. Like, like, they got Dragon Balls, they can bring him back to life. Even knowing that, it still resonated so much with me. One, because of my love for Vegeta, and two, uh, yeah, just that like father and son moment. Like as we're sitting here talking about it, I'm starting to get teary eyed. <laughs> I think because maybe the shock is wearing off and I'm I'm realizing truly now what I just saw. Um, and the moment that just, just keeps pounding in my brain is as he turns to Trunks and he says, I never hugged you because I wanted you to be strong, but I'm gonna hug you now. And like, yeah, now it's, now it's hitting me. Um, that was so Vegeta because he is kind of like this, sorry, but this hardened asshole. I mean, he's, <laughs> he's arrogant and hardened and that's also what makes him so snarky. And it, well, it is what makes us love him after we first kind of despise him a little. Yeah. Um, but that vulnerability that they gave him with his son just cuts you as an audience member. So yeah. well done. Fuck, I am a puddle. Uh, and like the way this episode started too 
with just the quiet of Goku, like, you know, being knocked out. And then Gohan allegedly being dead. So they say. So they say um, until the whatever squirrel or something gives him CPR <laughs> or bites his ear or whatever. Um, that like really set the tone for the episode. And like there was a point where like when Vegeta's moment was happening and then Boo does his little like was, was doing his little dance. Yeah. I'm like, like we've laughed so much at him. And like, but this moment, I don't know that that was that was a little jarring. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like I, I didn't I, I didn't need to see Boo there. But at the same time, like you can't change his character right 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 there. Like with, with Boo, yeah. like Boo is so like that's kind of I guess part of the parts why he is so so menacing is that the fact that like he just is so happy go lucky but like murderous. And someone had said that you know he's like a child with a handgun. He's like a child with a bazooka. Yeah. Because of how fucking powerful he is. Um, that whole end scene was just, the whole episode was was fantastic. From Piccolo, like, slicing Bobbity in half and and and, and, yeah. and realizing what the fucking Supreme Kai didn't realize, which was, it doesn't matter, like, if you kill Bobbity because it's going to happen regardless. Like, he's going to unleash uh, Majin Buu. Um, and, and destroy everything because that's Majin Buu's purpose is to destroy everything. So if you're releasing something to destroy everything and you're the only one that can like bottle him up, like, okay, then bottle him up now or I'm going to fucking kill you. Um, and so, and like, I love Bobbity. Like, I thought he was just such a funny character because uh, like, even when he was dying there at the end, like, he was just so... Like, no, I can't rid- go out this way. Rid- rid- ridiculous. <laughs> and like, the, the sarcasm that he had. Yeah. Um... It was one of those things where, like, I find his humor and, um, like, out of touch with reality funnier than um, Mr. Satan's, I think, because because uh, yeah. he's, like, one, like, already, like, a villain, and so we're not supposed to like him, uh, so it's, like, easier to, like, take him as, uh, a- a- as a joke and... Um, like, it's just funny seeing a villain like that. He's kind of like Dr. Evil, like, uh, like to me. Um, yeah. Um, I also have to shout out the, I mean, part of it is the naivety and the belief in your own immortality that comes with youth, but Trunks and Gotan being unwilling to sit on the sidelines. Yeah. I mean, it made for all the more of like the moving dramatic moment where Vegeta has to tell Piccolo to like get him out of here, which again cuts your audience like they really were like we're gonna cut you and put some salt in the wound we're gonna grind that salt down in there and make sure it really stings they did a good job with that um but i just loved the fact that those two weren't willing to stand by because it it may have been hopeless from the start and there might have been nothing that anyone could do but there's a piece of me that is quite disappointed in Krillin for just standing, standing on the sides and doing anything the whole time. Yeah. Um, that, especially because like, you know, he does have a significant other now. He's kind of got, he's got some skin in the game where it's not just about him. And so like you would think unleashing this creature into the world would be a reason to do something and stand up. And instead, he just kind of hides. And that's disappointing me. Well, that might be one of the reasons why he didn't get in there is because now he has something to lose. He's not just fighting for him. Like, like by going out there, he can make his, you know, he's a child fatherless and his, and his wife a, a widow. And like you, when you're a kid, like the reason that Goten and, and, uh, and uh, Trunks were so fearless is because like you don't really like feel like you have anything to lose. Like there's, you don't have any sense of, of loss, really. Um, but for for Krillin, he really has that sense of loss and that can that that can freeze you. And that's one of the reasons that uh, Vegeta himself like didn't want those attachments. Is because when you have those attachments, then all of a sudden you hesitate that little bit because you, you, you're thinking about them. Oh, I, I completely get that. But it, I mean, if Boo is unleashed on the world, it's destruction, game over, world done, and everybody's dead. So I think from from my perspective, I was just like, 
what is stopping you, Krillin? Because if this guy isn't stopped, your family's dead anyway. Well, I guess uh, when I was disappointed for, with Krillin was that he didn't help out uh, Piccolo against Bobbity. And like, I'm like, okay, you don't want to take on Boo because you don't want to get yourself killed. I get that. Like, but like then Piccolo goes and takes Bobbity. Like, help it, help him out. But you know, I guess he felt that maybe uh, Piccolo didn't need help. But also, if you're not going to take on Boo, then like. And like you worried about your your wife and your and your daughter, then get the hell out of there and go back to them. Because if Boo gets unleashed and, and destroys everything, spend as much time as possible with your family and and uh, you know do whatever you can and be by them so you can try to protect them. Um, so for Krillin's character there, yeah, I, I agree that they didn't uh, do him the best service. Um, going back to Goten and Trunks, uh, I feel like they handled them so well as far as like kids because. Yeah. Uh, when Trunks was getting hugged, like first he was like, "Oh, come on, Dad! You know you're embarrassing me in front of my in front of my friend and everything like that." But then when he actually like like let himself like feel it, and yeah. like the look on his face uh, was just really well done. And and Goten was sitting there and sucking his thumb. But then when he takes out Trunks. Goten had a really natural like kid reaction. Like, what the hell are you doing? Like, you know, just he's able to piece it together that he did it for his own safety yeah. and, and to get him out of there. And Goten's like, you know, you're a very mean man. Why would you hit a kid? Yes, why would you hit a kid? But then, <laughs> then Vegeta punching him in the stomach. Oh. Like he could have just knocked him out like he did trucks, but no, bam, right yeah. in the stomach. That's pretty painful. Um Yeah, so oh, just Probably the best episode so far, as far as like just start to finish, like so many great moments. Well, and I, I know you talked about Piccolo and the and Krillin not helping. And yes, from the standpoint of Krillin's character, I absolutely agree. But as an audience member in that moment, I needed to see Mr. Piccolo yeah. kick Yeah, oh, ass. for, sure. I, for I'm, sure. I'm so glad that they just gave us that moment of Mr. Piccolo taking out Bobbity and just annihilating him. Like that... I needed that as an audience member. And what? I don't believe Krillin would have done it right. Mr. Piccolo could do it right. Well, because it shows you that Piccolo would take on Majin Buu if he thought he could like have any sort of chance against him. But he even says, like, I can't take on Majin Buu, but he's like, I can take you on. Yeah. He's like, and he needed to do something in that moment. And he's just like, okay, Majin Buu's away, your bodyguard's away. I'm gonna take you out. And, you know, I need, I like, he needed that. He needed to not feel so helpless. Especially after hearing like the goat, go to uh, Gohan is dead, yeah. and like watching Vegeta put his life on the line, it's like I can't just stand by and do nothing. Uh, yeah, just oh, great episode. Great episode. Um, let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments, and if you want early ad free access to our, <laughs> I don't even <laughs> want to say that. Just, I don't care. <laughs> you, you know the routine. Uh, just uh, yeah. Thanks for checking out our reaction for uh, Dragon Ball Z Kai episode 127, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.